What's in grapefruit will actually inhibit or starve angiogenesis or starve your cancer by cutting off its blood supply. So it's kind of a cancer starving drink. I'm going to do something different for, well, first of all, they're also cancer starving. So grapefruit actually uh, helps angiogenesis from the other side of the equation. So let's walk around to the other side of angiogenesis where we want to help our body keep just the right number of blood vessels, not too many. Too many blood vessels actually is not good for you. Like life is all about balance, right? Excess isn't really good. If you don't have enough, it's not good. If you have too many, it's also bad. So what happens when you have too many blood vessels? Well, it wreaks havoc in your health. For example, if you have a lot of blood vessels that grow in your eye, like aging or in diabetes, they, those blood vessels can bleed and you can lose your vision. Or even, uh, even more importantly is that our bodies are always forming these little microscopic tumors that are harmless cancers and our immune system are, normally wipes them out. But if cancer, these little microscopic cancers figure out how to hijack our angiogenesis system, they can grow, selfishly grow blood vessels to feed themselves and they can explode in growth. So I did research at the National Cancer Institute studying food. We didn't tell the NCI that they was aware it's just studying food. We gave them stuff and we labeled it as if it were a drug and they were testing with drugs. But we were actually putting stuff in from grapefruits. There is asparagine and aerogenin. These are all these extracts that are present in the flesh of grapefruit. And what we found is that what's in grapefruit will actually inhibit or starve angiogenesis or starve your cancer by cutting off its blood supply. So here's a not, not only a good way to get vitamin C, which is also anti-inflammatory, but it's also a way of actually uh, helping to right size the circulation so you don't have too many blood vessels that are grown. It's kind of a cancer starving drink. Pomegranates do something different to your gut microbiome because the, the ruby red seeds of pomegranate which you know are used to make juice, um, are contain something called elagitanins. These are natural chemicals. They're so beautiful and they taste great. Um, you can put them into a salad. There's lots of different ways you can you can do them. But when you juice them, one of the things that is wonderful is to be able to press the juice through the skin, and, and because there's elagitanins in the skin as well, so you get a lot more. You get like the the knockout punch of these elagitanins when you juice with the skin. Now. What does that do? Those are the elagitanins in your body when you drink it, they, for, well, first of all, they're also cancer starving. They're also antioxidant. They also lower inflammation. But one of the great things about they do is they stimulate your gut to secrete healthy mucus. And, and that's normal. It sounds a little gross, but actually our, our gut likes to stimulate, at least likes to make mucus. And the bacteria love to grow in the mucus. The bacteria growing in mucus in our gut is like flowers growing in a flower bed that's been properly fertilized they they sprout they bloom they really they, they look great and that's basically what um pomegranate juice actually does in our gut it helps these bacteria grow really well one of the bacteria that grows really well is called acromancia acromancia mucinophila mucin like like mucus and that bacteria is a guardian of our health it helps our immune system it helps us fight cancer it actually um, it even appears to be able to help um, uh, kind of make blood sugars good to be able to help control and prevent diabetes. And so that's a function that a uh, simple juice that's delicious to drink and easy to make, like pomegranate juice, is so valuable. The whole, the whole emphasis is to do things that taste great that are also good for you. Like this isn't about kind of like, you know, handcuffing us to doing, you know, acting like robots to do things to foods and drink and eat foods that we don't like. The whole point is to take advantage of what Mother Nature has already offered us and really be able to do some extra things to it to make it taste delicious and easy for us that's also good for our health.